Devel by developmental tasks, I mean kinds of <coughs> challenges that they have to affront that children of the generations before didn't have to think about and that require creative solutions on their part. One of them has to do with mobility, with the fact that they are grown up in a neo-nomadic culture and we can talk about it. I know the world is too fashionable and it doesn't apply in the same way in different countries. But what I mean by it is that multiple mobilities, multiple identities, sometimes not knowing, have, having a disruption of the kinds of communities, groundings that we are used to. Now what this brings about is what I call new kinds of archetypes or myths or dreams on part of the children. And one I call the myth of the navigator itself. And the myth of the navigator itself, I have a nice slide on it, but it will take me forever to find it. The myth of the navigator itself is the myth of the little guy that goes in the black forest like Hansel and Gretel, that waits to find something exciting to happen. That's the idea of the roaming about, that's all. Once they find it, the idea is capture, capture. It can be with a little camera, with a cell phone, you can capture a butterfly, capture it, and then it's like collector, the collector. You collect it in a way, but the most important then is the connect. It's that Ulis wants to tell about his travel, not just to Penelope, but to many other people, and the connecting part is the most important. I am going to tell them what I found. And bam, you bring it already into the public before you even you know, changed it. So what I believe is that what we call search of information is very, becomes more text, text, textured. If we think of it as this desire for roaming in the way that we like to roam about in a city when we are a tourist, to find treasures, places that we like, and then capturing them and, and sharing it with other people. So that's a bit far-fetched, but it, to me it explains this incredible, almost absurd, um, how do you say, draw, they are drawn to this, this attraction to constantly roam around to see what's happening. Now this changes also the way of thinking about what storage is about. Yes, they do collect. Yes, they do. They do. They, 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 they do collect. But you know, I like to give this substance to it, to give to give the meaning to it. And it's the same with with connecting. I think connecting has a lot to do with attachment and detachment. I, I cannot not be a psychologist here. And one of the second myths is that children need different types of transitional spaces to actually explore in a very deep way. The, 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 the feeling of being, the thrills of being detached, feel free, but feeling disconnected and out of touch, or being grounded, but then being stuck and, 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 and uh, not being able to move about. Now, these have, these have been archetypes. Children have dealt with this question since ever. What I'm claiming is that it takes very different forms in today's world, not just because their lifestyles have changed, but because the mediation that they have around uh, enables different people. But it, at, at least you understand why they fall in love with these tools so much and why they, you know, why they spend so much time and intelligence in, in, 